First home win in the league, first clean sheet, good day. Yeah, yeah, um, been waiting for it. Um, the reason we haven't won at home is because we've not put together a 90 minutes at home to win a game. We've put together parts of games, half against Leicester, half against Sheffield United. Um, a good performance against Liverpool, it wasn't quite enough. Today we put in a good performance, it was solid, it was comfortable, it was professional, it lacked more goals because we created enough to score um, three, four, five goals. Um, but we've got our clean sheet, which is something we've been striving for, so it's a good day all round and good for confidence in the dressing room. We've been talking a lot about the kids, but we've seen some of the older players going to the market. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, the, the kids, are, are the, everyone's drawn to that conversation, the young players, but they're playing, they're, they're playing, sorry, they're playing because they deserve to, so I don't really consider age, but they will also always need that experienced player around them. Um, and you talk about Jorginho with the, the coolness of head to, to score the penalty. You talk about William, who not only creating chances for himself uh, and getting his goal, but working work ethic was fantastic from William today. Um, and those are the standards, and uh, some of the experienced players can set those standards, and the youngsters must follow. Jorginho was a bit of a divisive figure last season, but today in yeah, he is. He's a leader in his personality and um, whatever happened last year, I, I wasn't here and for whatever reason um, people would make judgments. All I can judge is what I see in front of me and from, from pre-season he's been one of the leaders clearly in the dressing room and on the pitch and, um, and he wants to win and I know that should be the basics and it is the basics for everyone but to show it and, and everything you do is important and I think he, he does that so I, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with Georgie and um, yeah, again the young players need to look up to that kind of attitude that he has daily. Yes, he is. In a, end of story. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you're you're obviously aware of it, and you know, we want him to win points. This is, you know, this is football. This is Chelsea. We want to strive to be the, the best as we can be, and the, the home games have been frustrating so far for different reasons. Uh, and not that we've played terribly, it just hasn't happened for us. So today is a nice one because it was, you could have almost felt the frustration at half time, not because we had had a poor half, but because the ball hadn't gone in the back of the net. We could controlled every bit of the game. Um, uh, so now, hopefully, that gives not just the players, but the fans, everybody confidence. Um, but our, our important thing now is that we take it forward. We take it to Lille and we take it to Southampton because we can't rest on that where we are slightly young and slightly transitional. Um, daily improvement is our main, main aim, and uh, we must carry on with that. Would you say, Sorry, mm. so Jorginho is now. Oh, I knew you were going to ask me about that question <laughs> again. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised about the obsession about penalty takers. Jorginho took it and he scored, and yeah, he's a penalty taker. Matt, so injury. Is it hamstring? Yeah, but it, it's it's an awareness. So it's. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to take the risk. I spoke to Ngolo about it, and uh, he's so important for us. We know that, but. Um, He's had a difficult pre-season. It's been difficult um, for us, but mainly for him, to get going because of the breakup of his pre-season with his injury carried over from last year. So I, I wasn't right to, to risk it today. Yeah, you could have a chance for Lil. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do two more, and then we're gonna do a quick Mondays. Frank, how frustrated, frustrated were you that the ball wasn't going in? Um, yeah, a little bit, but what, what, what pleased me was performance and uh, my, my message to the players at half-time was not to get despondent, not to feel flat, not to get sloppy, which we did in moments in the first half, it was to keep playing at pace because we were creating a lot. So yeah, I was frustrated and the, because of the no win, not winning here yet, I suppose you, you fear the worst, obviously. Um, but there was a different feel today, a different feel. For when the ball moved quickly, it looked good, it moved through midfield, uh, Mason was moving it quickly, Willie was getting his shots away and moving people, Tammy was all action. Um, and, I, and I felt it was coming, and, and it was important to say that to the players and for them to take that back out because they deserved, they deserved it. They deserved something to drop, and uh, the penalty obviously was the moment. And the goalkeeper, I know you were saying yesterday you're not that fussed about clean sheets, but probably for him it's significant, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, individually the goalkeepers will always uh, say that the clean sheets a bit more. It's obviously a collective thing, and it helps us for confidence, I think, in the dressing room. It's, um, if we win, I'm not too concerned. But, of course, the, the base of a clean sheet is a fantastic thing. And uh, other than the set piece where they clips the bar, um, we never looked like conceding today, which is, a, which is a big plus. OK, thanks a lot. Monday's now. Thank you all. Right thank you. will be taking penalties next week, <laughs> 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 Thank you guys.